hello guys welcome back to app sheet tutorial so this is aditya here i am entrepreneur and have three years of experience in app sheet so first of all i want to thank who is supporting our channel we got 1400 plus subscribers thank you everyone and in our last video we saw how to import invoices in app sheet using import action so today we are going to see about how to send tax invoice to that particular user after importing invoice so if you haven't watched the previous video i will give the link in description and then you can continue watching this video so let's get into this app which we have created previously in invoice in import so there we will just importing the invoices uh, from razor pay we are using razor pay as a payment gateway so we will get the payment from razor pay and i am importing through razor pay after importing I need to split it up with that GST tax and all and I'm going to send that user with that particular tax invoice amount as a email so for that we have already created this invoice sheet uh, invoice number email description amount which we are getting from that razor pay invoice while we are importing this contents we will get and now I'm going to add uh, additional columns uh, say GST we will for this example we will take consider this as 20% and this whole then total creating this subtotal actually this this amount is inclusive of tax in our business so I'm just going to split as a base amount plus GST and then finally I'm going to send this invoice to this particular email ID so we should know right whether we send the invoice properly or not so invoice sent status so it's just a status column whether we send properly or not okay. and just make it as bold okay. so for this example I kept this as 20% as tax and we're going to calculate automatically to the app sheet so this sheet I'm going to regenerate so this invoice sent is a set true or false column true or false column okay now we have already imported amount and subtotal which is the base price so in our example this is the amount is the inclusive of tax so which is 120 percent so tax is 20 which inclusive of tax is 120 so if we do calculation 100 divided by 120 0 0.83 is the base amount right? so what i'm going to do is we are going to put formula amount which is all we already have this amount column multiplied by the value which we got 0.83 so this is the base amount and just I'm going 0 0.83 minus 1 sorry 1 minus 0 0.83 1 minus 0 0.83 is the tax amount is the 20 percent of tax so having this and this one will be the amount zero point one seven. So this is the tax amount. Okay. It's loading. Yeah. And this price I am going to make it as INR. So Indian rupee I am going to make it INR symbol. Yeah. So that while printing also this INR symbol will come. This should be price. This also INR. So you can keep wherever you come. This also INR. Okay. So we have 
created the formula to calculate automatically subtotal and GST so next time once we import uh, this values will get automatically calculated I will show you this demo now so once I save let's delete these contents okay. now I will import the same data which we used last time import test so it will take some time see the values getting calculated automatically so now we import it now we need to send this in tax invoice to the customers right so for that I'm going to create an automation bot Let's create a custom bot configure event custom event adds only whenever we are adding the data we're going to send the invoice and one more condition is invoice sent is blank why this condition because uh, today I have imported this many invoices and this got sent so next day I will import some more so that's why this again and again we should not repeat to send the same tax invoice to this particular email ID right? so that's why this condition I am giving here is blank invoice sent so only those conditions now these four are blank right so that only we are going to send the tax invoice and then we'll add this automation email step so send that email with custom template okay so table invoice to whom we are going to send we are going to send the email which we have already have and subject this tax invoice and body uh, we will make one proper template so we will make an email body template from here we can send those invoice with the proper table view I'm just viewing this. I created a template. So here, let's say you can give your company name, um, logo, company name, logo, let's say invoice. You can say tax invoice. Relationship center and the invoice number email domain. So just insert one table so that it looks good. Four into one. Let's say invoice description of. Description and uh, unit price quantity. So, this is a basic invoice uh, format. And then um, and one more column is one more column is amount you can say. We'll add one more row below here. Below. So default quantity is one. In our in our case, it's just one. And unit price will be the base price, right? Um, base price means the subtotal. So this we need to cut and paste here. And then. So amount so since this is one quantity it will be the same and then this in GST have to, sorry tax amount so tax amount is this GST value 
right this will be removed we don't need this total this one the description nice we can give us a date as today's date right um and total value we can give total let's say total will be the amount value right. this is inclusive of gst this summing up of this this total value will come and in so whatever the additional information you want you can keep it here and maybe a signature or something below you can keep it here the e signature and so this is the template which we have created so this we are going to send to the particular email ids right and finally uh, we have created this status column right so whether it gets sent or not to know the status i am just adding one more step which will indicate this will be the data task and data action okay so the custom action this invoice sent will be true since the yes or no so i'm just giving us the status true so i'm just saving oh so the warning is coming here so if you see since the app is not deployed Will deliver only to the app owner so i'm not going to deploy it so that uh, these users won't get unnecessary emails so i'm just going to test this app and just delete this again and the emails will come to this to the owner of this app means to directly it will come to me so let's check this i'm importing this again this import test so this time this bot also will get executed so the one thing is so it will get calculated automatically and this invoice sent to 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 once this bot executed uh, which means all the invoices got sent so you can check in my email so see the tax invoice came so maybe this subject and all you can change so if you see this the tax amount and the base price if you add this the total amount is coming here and the description also will come here so finally uh, for our purpose we need a internal storage and right? whatever the tax we send we have to store in our purpose also while doing tax filing or something so in the next video we can see whatever the email sent just those PDF files we are going to store in our personal google drive so that at the end of the month we should know what tax invoice we sent and how to for tax filing purpose or any gst purpose so in this way you can easily import invoices and you can send the tax invoice just a one click of button right so just importing will do all the calculations of gst and email also will go and by this status you can get to know whether it's properly sent or not okay guys thank you so i will give the previous video link in description to make sure to subscribe and share if you like this video and wait for the next video to store this tax invoice files this pdf files to store in our google drive okay guys thank you thanks for watching see you in next video